Welcome back to Fallout 2, and we're in Vault 15 right now, and we've made our way down. Off screen, I just uh, did a bit of looting, grabbed the plasma grenade, the ripper. There was also a couple extra guns and ammo and stuff like that, so that's pretty good. Now, we do have to kill this room, which seems pretty tough, but I'd like to go over here and start sciencing these machines. Now, what number is science? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's try science these machines. You access the computer and quickly scan all available files. You find the location of Vault 13 and copy it to your Pip-Boy. We found Vault 13! Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the stream. We're starting off nice. Let's try science this one as well. You failed to learn anything. Can I learn anything from these things? Sometimes there's like little safes on the wall. I don't see any though. Other than the location of Vault 13, the computer contains no useful information. Alright, so we found Vault 13. Can we actually... can we look at the map from here? No, I don't think so. Alright, fantastic, we found Vault 13. Now, uh, let's quick save back to here. And we have to clear out this room. Not the easiest task. Let's bring everyone over. So we're dealing with... Two, two raiders, two guards by the door. Then there's these two guys in combat armor, which are not pleasant. We've got an older man, that must be him, and his dog. All right. Um, let's make sure Marcus what do you want? is using his minigun. Thank you very much. All right, everyone's here. We gotta open this door. Alright, we're probably gonna die a bunch of times here. Do we just walk in and talk to them or do we start shooting? Well, they're not attacking on sight, so let's... Uh, all my, my allies just went into the, the wrong room over there, so let's try and bring them over. Can you Can you guys not collect in that locker room? I mean... Can you guys come down here, please? Over here, into this room. Where is Sulik? I'm like walking around this room really weirdly. <laughs> well, let's try talk to him, I guess. Maybe I should ask those guys to come stand closer to me. Yeah. Change distance. Right, I'm listening. Don't get too far All away. Right, I'll keep some di and Sulik. I mean, they're standing really far away. What you be needing? Can you consult the spirits for me? Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? Tell me about this place. Talons of death are close. Okay, thanks. What you be <laughs> Um. What distance do you need us at? Probably a good di- Okay. Now they're staying a bit closer. Oh, here we go. So here you are at last, the savior of the downtrodden, the writer of wrongs, the icon of hope for humanity. What a dumbass. Well, before you start any boring speeches, I'd just like to say that I'm not fucking interested. Let's just cut to the chase and get this over with. Bad dog kill. Now, I'm standing right in the middle of everyone here, and he's got a flamethrower, and I was hit for 50 hit points. I think this is a case where I just run away. I just run right away. Now, Marcus, get in there and use your minigun without killing any of our allies. Huh. Cassidy was critically hit for 178 and died. Let's do this a different way. So, the flamethrower I'm not too concerned about. These guys with combat armor, I am. Can I just, uh... Hmm, I don't want Cassidy to just die like that. Can I shoot this guy in the eyes, please? 
cause blindness. Okay. And then we're gonna take a step back so we don't die. And wait here. Marcus runs in. Okay, good. He can tank a few shots. Darian is killed. Very nice. Now let's try to make sure everyone else doesn't die either. Marcus. He has 72 hit points. Huh. Sulik has 105. Now I'm mo mostly concerned about that guy with the combat armor in the back. So I'm gonna pop into view here. Can I shoot this guy? 86. Ugh. Let's try. Please blind him. It causes serious pain. He's got 16 hit points, but... I'm gonna have to back out and hope no one dies. Because that guy's running away. That guy... Oh, he had to use a stim pack so he couldn't shoot. Nice. Nice. Marcus didn't kill Sulik. That's always good. Now let's step back out here. Who's left? Is it just two guys left? It's just two guys left. That guy has 49 hit points. This guy has 66 wielding spike knuckles. Marcus has 54. Let's shoot this guy in the eyes again. Did that kill him? He was killed. Leaving just that guy with spiked knuckles left. Now Marcus, if Marcus kills someone on our side, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, fantastic Marcus, you only killed the enemy. <laughs> he was hit for 199 hit points. Wow, okay. Now, we gotta chase that guy. Where is he? He ran away. I still can't hit him? Let's quick save right there. I don't want to suddenly die. Where is he? Is he in this room? There we go. He has 49 hit points and he's blind. Right, let's shoot him in the head. 17, really? Is it, is it because he's wearing a helmet? So, oh, I was afraid I was going to die there. Now, Marcus, don't kill anyone, please. Is he dead? Yes, we killed him. Quick save. We won. <laughs> we finally got through this. And uh, we can take all of that. Marcus cause you could use that info. Darian's computer terminal. You access the computer and quickly scan all available files among some personal journal entries. You find several detailed reports on the NCR. It seems there is a spy on their council. You copy the reports to a hollow disk. Very nice. Can I science it as well? How about this thing? Failed to learn anything. That's just a monitor. All right, let's check the bodies. That's pretty good. What's this? Flamethrower fuel and a flamer. Of course I can't carry all that. Let's grab this. We'll grab this. None of these guys have combat armor. You know, just... Just wondering. Oh, I'm gonna have to organize all this. At least I can take all these stim packs. Darian's dog. Okay. Marcus. What do you want? We gotta unload some stuff. <sighs> uh, we got this data disk. Hold that. Take this. Th that's his ammo, I think. Um, take this ripper. Just hold on to a bunch of this ammo for me. Maybe not that much. Uh, and take a bunch of stim packs as well. 
I want to take that flamethrower mainly because we could sell it. It's so heavy. How heavy is it? I really gotta unload a bunch of stuff. Um, what do you want? Just trade some more, I guess. Um, hold on to those. Those are quest items. I know giving him grenades is risky, but uh, we'll be careful. Hold the jet. Hold even more. I really need more strength because I can't carry anything. Come on, I just want to take the flamer. I can't carry the flamer and... What do you want? And the ammo. <laughs> Come on. It weighs... 28. So he uses big weapons, so he could use a flamer if he feels like it. Okay, we can grab that. Can't grab that. What do you want? Oh, there's so much stuff to loot. Strength is looking like a, a nice stat simply because of carry weight. Well, I know you get bonus strength from wearing power armor, so I guess that's gonna be a thing. All right, did I loot everyone of everything? Okay, what fantastic. We'll give him all this stuff as well. I usually organize this stuff off screen anyway. There we go. Oh, that's a haul. That's it for now. Now, we have leveled up. Should we level up? All right, just stats, I think. I'm currently wanting to boost my energy weapons. Do I really want to boost anything else? First aid, doctor, sneak, lockpick. Lockpick is actually something I'd like to, to boost up. It's quite useful. Uh, hmm. Because currently I'm using the sniper rifle, which is pretty good. Let's boost lockpick up. We can get it up to 58. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna put it into lockpick. And we now have 82 hit points, nice. Done. Now, I'm not gonna clear out the second floor. Um, because I was just here to kill Darian. Let's go hand in all these quests. Oh, we should talk to the doctor now that Darian's dead. Let's, uh... Yeah, talk to you. Hello, I'm Doc Jones. Darian is dead. He is? Oh, that's wonderful news. What are you gonna do now? I so see no reason to return to my old life. The town above us doesn't have any me uh, medical assistance, so I think I will go up and help them. Thank you again for freeing me. Of course, see you later. Got 250 experience points just for telling him. And then, to save time, we'll go up this ladder, talk to the leader of the squat. Ah. Okay. Zeke. You've done it, friend. We are no longer under Darian's yoke. Thank you. I'm ready to accept your deal with NCR now. Just have them send one of their reps by and I'll seal the deal. Done. Oh, fantastic. We did it. Let's get back in the car. Back to NCR. Extreme Gaming asked me... Uh, which I prefer, Fallout 4 or Fallout 2? Fallout 2. Mainly because I'm not that into shooters, and also um, I'm not a particular fan. Oh, Vault Platine's just there. I'm not a particular fan of... Uh, oh, let's put our weapons away first. Um, like, the horror elements and stuff. I know Fallout is sort of a scary world sometimes, but... Um, I don't really see the... Like, it, it gets very first-person shootery and horror -y. Horror-like horror sort of thing with the, the ghouls and stuff, which is I'm not a fan of 
what you be need. Uh, you got it, friend. Sounds good. So there's that. What's up? My gear? Sure. What do you want? Yeah. What? What do you want? All right. Let's head back in. Council Hall. So yeah, I'm also a, a, a much bigger fan of things like story and moral ambiguity and depth and stuff like that. And Fallout 4 is a little short on some of those. Let's talk to Tandy. Back, are you, stranger? So the job's done? Do we have access to the vault? I've handled this already. The squatters want a deal. You help them become self-sufficient and they'll give you the vault. Oh, so here are the parts. So they finally got reasonable. I can bull the Congress into sending supplies and techs. You sure we can get into the vault? Quite sure. There were some lowlifes there, but I kicked their ass. I've always believed in fair pay for fair work. My assistant will square things up. I'm afraid you have another problem. If you look at this holodisc, you'll see that they have a spy in the NCR. Damn. The only person who knew all this was Fergus. I'm not suggesting anything, but maybe Gunther should know about this. Gunther. Okay, I'll talk to him. Bye. This is the hollow disk, right? Can I use it? Downloading data from disk. Uh, that's video. Uh, auto maps. Wait, how do I? Ah, there we go. NCR spy hollow disk. Filled with reports about NCR, monthly production totals, caravan schedule, security rosters. Uh huh. There's nothing here about Vault 13 or a Gek, though. Alright. So let's talk to this guy. Back so soon, now what? The president said to see to you about a reward. Is that what she said? Of course. She just buzzed me about it, a reward of 6,000 and NCR thanks you, she said. Now there is work to be done. Goodbye. Your president said you should know there's a spy in the house, somebody named Fergus. Fergus, I don't believe it. Take a look at this disc. Damn, looks solid. Looks, uh, look, we'll take care of this. Here's 4,000 for the info. Thanks, have a nice day. That's so much money. How much money was that? We have 14, was that 10,000? We just got a ton of cash. And 9,000 experience points. We're well on the way to the next level. Fantastic. What are my thoughts on Civ 6? Well, I made a bunch of videos on them. That's my thoughts on Civ 6. Anyway, are we done with the NCR? Uh, status. New California Republic. I think we're done. Alright. We can go then. I think I've checked all of this. There's, there's nothing else that we want to do, right? Yeah, I think we're done with the NCR. NCR is in New California Republic. They existed in Fallout 2. Yep, that's them. This is, this is where NCR started. Well, technically it was kind of like the beginnings of NCR were in Fallout 1. And uh, this is, Fallout 2 is where NCR actually became a thing. Where's our car? Our car's here. Okay. Well. Let's get in the car. And I guess we're going to Vault 13. I probably won't be able to get through all of Vault 13, but let's uh, go have a look. Oh, I misclicked. Get in there. Okay. Now, is it filled with monsters or anything? I don't see anything. Let's go. Any rats? No. No, I don't see anything. The vault door terminal. Well. So this is where, all, where it all started. Eh? There's someone here. Who are you? You see a short man carrying a book in his hands. Hopefully this isn't a... 
Oh! You see a large death claw. The creature is composed of rippling muscles, sharp teeth, and claws. I can talk to it? Do not fear me, human. I do not intend to harm you. I am Gruthar, leader of this death claw pack. Why have you come here? To kick your ass? Um. You know, I, I've met a talking plant and an intelligent rad scorpion that played chess. I should not be too phased by a talking death claw. How is it possible that a Deathclaw can talk, and so well? Forgive me, I do not mean to be rude, but I do not see that this is relevant to our conversation. I can speak your tongue, I can read your written words, what more needs to be said? I see, that's fine. Why have you come here? I'm looking for something called a Gek. I was told I could find one here. A Gek? That is not a small lizard. No, wait. That is a gecko, I'm sorry, but I do not know what a geck is nor where it, it can be found. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what it is myself. Would it be alright with you if I looked for it? I'm sorry, but I, but I do not allow just anyone to wander these halls. I am responsible for the safety of all who live here, and I must excise caution. However, I will look for this gek, and if I find it, I will let you know. Uh... I can understand your concern. You don't know me well enough to trust me. What if I could help you out somehow, and in return, you allow me to look around? Gruthas stares at you intently for a moment. You would be interested in helping us. Yes, I sense a little evil in you. Really? Uh, very well, I shall place my trust in you. Thank you. There are many machines here, machines built by humans. Deathclaw hands cannot use these machines. However, there is one machine that understands questions. It asks to run the other machine. Uh, I ask it to run the other machines and it obeys. This machine no longer listens. It will no longer run the other machines. We are running out of food and water. I have ordered raids on the human land so that we may survive. I am not proud of this and I would put an end to, an end to it if you repair the machine. I will be able to feed my people once again. I will gladly stop the raids. Will you agree to this? I will do what I can. Thank you. The machine is in the vault control center on the third level. If you can repair it, please do so. I am placing my trust in you. Please do not betray it. You are welcome here. I won't let you down. You have my word on that. Oh, fantastic. Let's talk to this scientist looking guy over here. What are my thoughts on Fallout Shelter? It's on app, just came out on PC. Well, I'm always for opening, well, releasing things on more platforms. Don't see why not. Uh, I don't play it though. I'm not that interested. Uh, hello, I'm Joseph the Herbalist. What can I help you with? I'm injured. Can you help me? You'll need to take some of this. I'll apply this bomb to the wound. Now just lie back and rest for a couple hours. What was that noise? I'm healed up though. Want to ask you some questions. Are you a prisoner here? No, I'm not a prisoner. I stay because I'm needed here. I've learned to accept the fact that some of my patients are death claws. Okay. Can you leave here if you want? These are the same questions as the Vault 15, Doctor. Yes, I can, and often do. I have to collect my herbs from time to time, and I've never been stopped. I used to wonder if the death claws were secretly following me and whether or not they would stop me if I tried to leave. So one day, I put the theory to the test. I traveled to another town, stayed there a week or so before returning. When I got back, I was warmly welcomed. Grutha, the pack leader, came to me privately and personally thanked me for coming back. Though I am definitely here because I want to be. Good idea. I'm glad to see it worked. Um, what can you tell me about the Death Claws? Well, let's see. Death Claws appear to be mutated Jackson's chameleons, the horned variety. There are a lot of similarities still present, but an even greater number of differences. The mutation factor is quite high, species highly intelligent, about equivalent of an 8-year-old, with some individuals reaching human normal level. Their learning capacity is very high, and they're capable of abstract thought and reasoning. Although they do not have vocal cords, the death claws seem to mimic, mimic human speech, much of the same as a parrot does. 
I've yet to discover the exact mechanism behind this. I'm unable... Uh, uh, what was that? I'm unable to say more of it at this time. Socially, they are pack animals with very rigid code of ethics. They are led by an alpha male. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Their sense of right and wrong is very well defined. They do follow a code of ethics. I'm impressed. How did you come here in the first place? Gathering some herbs one night, a voice called out to me in the darkness. I have been watching you, it said. And I know that you are a healer. Are you dedicated to your art enough to heal someone foreign to you? Someone whom many would consider an enemy. Respected all life, uh-huh. Thanks for the information. It's like a mirror of Vault 15. Alright, let's head on down. Can I talk to this guy? Forgive, I know speak well. I try to talk to you. Who are you? Theron, who are you? I'm Game Zack. What are you doing here? I guard hall, safety of pack goal. You're doing a great job. Alright, let's head on down. So we're supposed to go check the main computer. Patrick Shepard, first time catching the stream live, welcome! You enjoyed the videos, thank you. Um, let's check the second floor. Hello, human. Who are you? Dar, warrior. I'm Gamezak. What's your job? Uh, guard hall, keep peace, nothing more. Okay, good. There's some people here. Let's talk to these people. There's a religious guy. You see a lean man in long robes. He appears to be deep in thought. Welcome, traveler. I'm called Gordon. Shrine Keeper. Uh, what is this shrine dedicated to? Unnamed hero, vault dweller, savior of all who lived here several decades ago. That's Fallout 1. Uh-huh, okay. Not much to say that. It's mainly the general talk about death claws. Tall slender man. Uh who are you? Matt? Does it matter? Okay, I'll just leave. How about this guy? A sad older man. Why are you looking down? Born two months premature when I was one, I was dropped on the porch when I was two, I had pneumonia when I was three, I had chicken pox when I was four, I fell down the stairs and broke six ribs. When I was five, my uncle was decapitated by a watermelon. When I was six, my parents hit me in the head with a shovel. When I was seven, I lost my right index finger to my pet rat. When I was eight, my dog Spike got hit by a tractor. When I was nine, my mother lost her arm to a rabid Brahmin. When I was 10, my sister was torn to bits by a pack of dogs. When I was 11, my grandfather killed himself because I was ugly. When I was 12, my grandmother killed herself because I was ugly. When I was 13, my father poked out his eyes with a pitchfork in drunken stupor. When I was 14, my brother lost his... Okay. <laughs> I'm sure glad I'm not you. That's an option. What's currently bothering you? There I was, traveling through the desert, when I suddenly... My Brahmin falls over dead. About then I realized I was low on water and hadn't had a drink in quite a while. Later my bones began to ache. Head started to hurt. My bowels became loose and I, this rash just wouldn't go away. Waiting for the world to swallow my miserable existence when a pack of death claws showed up. And I'm thinking to myself, this is it, now I can die. I can wind up as a pile of death claws. <laughs> Uh huh. Death claws didn't kill me, instead, they gave me water, brought me here, gave me this room. Anyway, to make matters worse, then they started giving me some sort of medication. It was making me gassy, so I stopped taking it. I think it's some kind of mind control pill. Feels like it went actually as bad as I thought. Anyway, that's about it. Well, goodbye. Is there anyone else here? No. Let's not betray the Death Claw's trust too much by stealing stuff. Let's head down. 
So there's a lady there. So we're supposed to talk to the main computer? Oh, wait, this person knows me? Well, I'll be. How are you doing, Gamer Zach? I hope everything worked out for you at the squat. Dahlia? Oh, was she at the squat? It was my pleasure to do what I could for you, so what can I help you with? Oh, is this the person who is guarding the trail? After I left the squat, I didn't know what to do with myself. Drift off into another town. Uh-huh. Okay. Goodbye. How about you? There's a functioning computer? No. Oh, there's a kid. Ariel, I don't think I've seen you before. I'm new here. I'm sorry to intrude on your solitude, but could you answer some questions? Why are you so sad? My husband recently died, miss him, having problems adjusting as well. Traveling on a caravan to NCR. Attacked by raiders. Okay. I was holding Sandy behind me, uh-huh. Okay. Meow, meow, I'm a cat. I'm just talking to the kid here. Uh, special powers. Sandy. Okay. It's just idle chatter, I think. Now, we're supposed to look at status. Uh, Vault 13. Fix the Vault 13 computer. So the main computer is supposed to be over here. So let's not break into their locker room and steal a bunch of stuff. Is this it? You see a computer terminal. Okay, here's the main computer. Oh, there's a bunch of death claws and death claw babies there. Baby death claw. All right, let's talk to this guy first. A lanky man with thick glasses. Hello there, I'm Jim or Jimmy. What you up to? Uh-huh, what's all this machinery for? Mainframe computer system, related support devices, all functions of Vault are remotely controlled. Isn't this the Vault Overseer room? Normally the Vault Overseer would be stationed here, but Vault 13 has been fully automated. Isn't that unusual? I don't know the full story, but at one point in the Vault's history there was a rebellion, the Overseer was either killed or overthrown. I'm not sure which. Anyway, the leaders of the revolution didn't want to entrust the fate of the people to another overseer, so they installed this mainframe. The records say it was purchased from, oh, what was that name? The Brotherhood of Steel. Uh-huh, can't tell me anything about Brotherhood. What do you do here? We're having some computer problems looking into it. Unfortunately, my forte is software, not hardware. What's the problem? The voice interface to the mainframe has failed, so Grutha can't give the system instructions for running the vault. The food and water processors have already shut down. The power systems could very well be next. Why not just give it a keyboard input? Well, you see, the, that's the weird part. The system refuses to accept keyboard input. I'm at a loss as to what to do at this point. Grutha mentioned this to me, asked me to take a look. Do you mind? You can't ma make matters any more worse. Oh, I could totally make it worse. Uh, okay. Let's quick save. Computer terminal. Let's try use it. You examine the computer terminal, but you cannot find anything obviously wrong with it. Hit it in that special way. Kick it in that special spot. Run the diagnostics program. Look at, open it up and look inside. Let's run diagnostic. You're certain that the system should have a set of diagnostic routines available. However, the keyboard input seems to have been disabled. The unit accepts voice commands only. What do you say? The only thing left is to look inside. Peering into the mass of cables and circuit boards, you find that the system has been deliberately sabotaged. One of the circuit boards, the voice recognition module, is beyond repair and must be replaced. Now all you need to do is find a replacement module. Really? A replacement module? A voice recognition module. So I guess I'll go upstairs and tell Grutha about this. 
All right, at least we know what to do. No sign of a Gek though, but I have a feeling if we activate that computer, we could ask it where the Gek is. All right, let's tell Grutha about this. Uh, I'm sorry, Grutha, the voice module has gone bad. I'll have to go get one. I do not understand the workings of such things, but I trust you, Gamezak. I will wait for your return. I shall return, you have my word. Where do I get the voice module from? Huh. Maybe I could go back to the NCR and ask them. Hmm. Maybe Vault City? Well, let's let's pop back to the NCR. Chosen. Oh. Chosen. Do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Each dies. All of our futures die too. We have little left in both time and essence. Hurry. Hurry. Doing the best I can here. Alright, let's pop by NCR. And let's ask Tandy. Do you happen to have a voice module? Oh, weapon. Sorry. No? Can't talk to her anymore? Not a good time? Okay. So, we're not getting any help here. Maybe we have to go back to Vault City. That's quite a trip back. Because I don't have any other leads. We have to fix the Vault 13 computer. Hmm. Vault 15, I don't think it had a voice module, did it? Car feels okay. I mean, we could try go back to Vault City, ask if they have some. Huh. Oh well, but I think we made some good progress anyway. I think I can bring this stream to a close. We've, uh, f well, finished up Vault 15, went to Vault 13. We know what we need to do, but we're kind of at a dead end here. So we're gonna have to look around for a voice recognition module. But yeah, I think that's good for today. Uh, these streams are working much better than before. No dropped frames. I just changed some settings, it's really good. All right, so that's it for now. This has been Fallout 2. We're getting closer and closer to our objective, I feel it. And we just, um, I'm pretty sure I remember going to the West Coast for a bunch of stuff and we haven't get, we need to get to San Francisco for the Brotherhood of Steel. That's something we got to do as well. But for now, I think we're good. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!